things to know before getting hair transplants. 1. FUE versus FUT There are two main types of hair transplant procedures that clinics offer, namely, follicular unit extraction FUE and follicular unit transplantation FUD. The FUT method is older and involves cutting and removing the strip of skin and hair from your scalp. From there, it is divided up and transplanted into the balding areas. The more recent FUD method makes small incisions around each hair follicle unit, which is then prepared and transplanted to the balding area. 2. Skin and hair type In order to achieve the best results possible, minimize scarring and maximize success, you will need to consult a hair transplant surgeon who knows how to care for your skin and hair type. This should ideally be done before and after the procedure. 3. Cost The cost of the procedure will be upwards of ours. 50. 000, 000, 000 Based on the credibility of the clinic and its location. Bear in mind, good and permanent results take money. Good thing is, with this procedure it's more of an investment than a recurrent cost. For average healing time the healing process takes approximately 3 days or lesser, inclusive of bandage removal, area cleansing and hair wash. 5. Pain factor hair transplantation is not usually a painful procedure because local anesthesia is administered on the treatment area during the surgical stage. 6. Scarring hair transplantation causes minimal to zero scarring post-procedure. So, yes, there are no souvenirs from the procedure besides hair. 7. Permanence This procedure is 95% permanent, visible 10 months after the procedure. Should there be any thinning or hair loss post the procedure, there are two approved hair loss medications that can effectively halt that, namely, minoxidil and thin asteroid. However, it is advisable to speak to your surgeon about using medications after your hair transplant. Subscribe us for more hair growth treatments and tips.